Submerged Hidden Depths. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Wow, what are we in for today? I don't know, but this game on Google Stadia now, or at least that's when I'm trying it out, looks pretty interesting, and I thought we'd give it a try. Check out all the weird goo and stuff on the right side there. That uh, weird black, what looks to be tar or something? Hmm. Well, this seems to be an open world, uh, yeah, think of like Wind Waker survival game. We've played many a game recently like this where you start as kind of a native who has like a raft and you get to build a ship to explore. I don't know if this is really a crafting survival game, but it does definitely seem to have some of those elements. But it seems to interest me and I hope it interests you. All right, well, welcome again. Good to see you all here. Thanks for subscribing. Only 50% of the people who watch the channel, by the way, are actually subs. So if you're liking what you see, don't forget to subscribe as we rocket towards 1 million subscribers. It's good to have everybody here. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for smashing like. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, let's go ahead and try this game out. See what it's like. Submerged, hidden down. Bruda imiku hasteres. Ashen's rules are black plant kind. Black plant ot al. Maku pes. Uto sater fall krycho. Miku tech black plant. Ene dod black plant guft. I think hope ethas. Miku net, nakest. Umpta, black plant Avava. Black plant Avava. It seems like she's speaking like some sort of an actual language that exists, like Gaelic or something like that. That's really cool. It looks like uh, little brother also took a big gash to the stomach too, so he got into some heavy combat. Right, so the world has been flooded. It's like a post-apocalyptic game where uh, everything flooded and there's this giant mass around. Very cool. Let's go look around then a little bit. We have fish and such here. Brother's calling for us. But I want to look around a little bit. Oh yeah, they're definitely using this for water and such. Cool, much more of a uh, survival game than I thought it would be in terms of like it looking like everybody's, um, you know, humanity fell and is still trying to survive versus this just being a world that happens to be like this. So it feels like Earth, who knows. All right, let's look around a little bit more. I guess we'll follow him. Doesn't look like there's too much around. We'll probably get into some combat at some point, too. Love the art style. Interesting. All right, let's just go ahead and follow him. I'm so tempted to go around, but... Oh, what is this? Oh, wow, somebody actually has record... Oh. Is 
Is that Mother Brain? Oh, this is a giant seed. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. There's office buildings over there. Giant growth on them. Large highway. Huge dome here. Definitely some sort of capital city here. Looks like we can put it down with R. Now he really wants to go. Look at all the plants lighting up as we come near. This is bringing back the good life. No way. You want me to put it in there? Oh, it's turning the black mass into, like, good. Ah. Once a brother and sister found refuge in a city covered by the mass. Though they had lost their family, they had at least found peace. Miku fun seds. Miku fex Alright, something's coming our way that didn't really like us, it looked like. I guess that's why the game gets its name. Alright, let's go. Another seat at the top of that tower? We actually have an engine. Oh, no way. Cool. Oh, what is this? Birds. Ah, I see. So we can discover creatures. Collect creatures for display in the journal. Nice. Alright, is there a dock over here we can pull into? Oh, looks like it's going to be impossible to get up there. Let's see if there's a way around back. Seems like we could just jump out at any point. Wow, this stuff is crazy. What's that? Oh, there's a whale. Oh, let's go see that. Oh, dude. Cool. 
Can we put it in the journal? Nice. We have it. We have a map too. Okay. So this looks like oh, there's seeds, diaries, upgrades. Ah, so we can upgrade our boat too. Flowers, relics, landmarks, and lookouts. So that'll probably reveal the map. Okay. That's definitely cool. All right, we must be able to dock over here. Ah, oh, good. We found dolphins now too. Can we park here and get up there? Uh, drive away to pull down. Oh! We gotta go to these little banners. Just like that. Okay. There it goes. So that's a ladder on it. Got it. Dan Hall Public Library. Wow. People must be living here. Okay, jump across. Ooh, some parkour. Nice. Who the hell is that? Pointing over to the large tower there off in the distance. Just above our head. Okay. Ooh, a shortcut. Oh, there's some something down there, though. Let's go back down. Well, that's cool. Neat little elevator. Everything's actually nicely detailed. Oh, okay, so there's a story as to what happened to the city. I can hear something else nearby. Kind of cool how they built these houses. Must be up top. Ah, it's in there. Alright, let's go across again. Ah, more people. I don't think these are actually people, but maybe just the plants kind of hinting that there were people here once or something. She's like, maybe she can talk to the plants or the, the plants kind of like are trying to tell us a story. Like it looked like somebody pointed off into the distance, then there was a discussion. These people don't look like us. Oh, these bla the black plant makes copies. Remnants of people who used to live here. Okay. So the plants are making copies of the people just to tell us a story. Oh, there's a shell here. Collect styles to select from in your journal. Oh, okay. So it's like um, maybe changing how the UI looks. Anything down there? Nope. Wow, lots of books. Oh yeah, this is definitely post-apocalyptic. Little parkour action here. Slide across to that side. Let's do it. Dude, this actually looks really good. Like, the art style looks great. The fact that it's a really a believable post-apocalyptic world. Like, with barrels and stuff sitting around. Barrels and pots and pans. And what is this? Tokyo? Did you see that off in the distance? That looked like the Tokyo Tower. Well, kind of. Up to a certain point. It definitely does all the way up to at least there. Wow. What was that? 
yacht style pieces found. Three out of nine. There must be one in each spot. Oh, I see another one back there. I might end up missing these. They're actually quite a, quite a few of them, and they're kind of hidden. What the hell? Oh. The seeds provide electricity. That's what it is. So these people found these seeds and used them as a power source. But in turn, that, like, irritates the plant or whatever. And I guess we're trying to make the earth green again? Oh, there's another one. All right, let's get back to the boat. Dude, I love how the planks are all different colors. They did a great job in this. Then the ladder I got to kick down? No. Ah, oh, we can put it in the bucket. And there it goes. Another book. Okay, looks like there's another diary missing somewhere. I'll have to find that. Come on out, you're coming with me. Oh, I see a thing down there. There is a thing that goes down there. Let's check that out. We'll leave the seed here. I know I saw another shell somewhere. Let's go this way. What is this? Oh, we can find specific flowers, too. I don't think we can go down any further, but there is something to our left. We'll need to get take the stairs to go to that. So, plenty of collectibles. That's cool. Hopefully, you get something for doing that other than just, like, a check mark for everything being complete. Can she jump? No, we can only drop from there. Okay. Now, there's stairs below us. Another book. It's three. Uh, in time, the mass subsided, but the mass remembers, and the anguish of big man echoes even now in the hidden depths below. Ooh. So maybe there's nine of those things here. We found th uh, six of them, so three left. Okay. Just three to go. Well, there must be more. Let's get back to the boat. I assume we can probably come back. So this seems like an open-world, post-apocalyptic adventure game where we're trying to figure out exactly what happened to these islands, and more importantly, what happened to the world. Oh, that looks cool. Ah. Now that explains it. So the dome that we found is the central hub, and each one of the little buildings we go to needs to connect to that somehow?
Now the tattoo on the arm is quite cool. It's not really a tattoo. Uh, the sister had a gift connected to the mass. She could heal its wounds. She could not help but wonder what else she could do. Yeah, the brother has a wound on his stomach, so they've been through some rough times. I guess because this is a central hub, there's probably nothing else here for us. But he definitely wants to go again. Alright, kid, we're coming. I should use my telescope to find more places to explore. Ooh, cool. Oh, that shows us where the remaining books are. And more flowers. Oh, there's more than just... Oh. Did I miss more than one? Maybe. Or is that a new place? I thought that was where we went before. Okay. That's let's try going there. Or let's go out to sea and look around. Oh, a whale again. Okay. Something over there. Can't remember if we went there or not. No, we already been there. But there are more books and such around, so we can always go back there. That's cool. If you don't find everything the first time, you just return and everything will be all right. Now that we have the telescope, we can see where everything is. So that's cool. Ah, there's a lookout point over there. And an upgrade. Let's go get the upgrade, then go to the lookout point. Let's reveal the map. I like what I see so far in this game. Quite a lot of detail. A lot of the times in these types of games, they make it look really clean and more sim minimalistic and simp simplified, but this is really nice. One of 26 boat upgrades? That's crazy. 26 upgrades to the boat? Uh, oh, collect those to increase the boost. Okay. Well, we haven't gotten here before since we're here. Is this back at the dome where we started? It is, isn't it? Wow, I didn't even see that. Cool. All right, well, let's go to the lookout tower, which I think was there. Let's go that way. Man, look at all these destroyed buildings. This is definitely a modern world. Look at those buildings there. Uh, Rob Robota Sims? Oh, yeah, dude. Definitely post-apocalyptic. All right, we got to climb this tower somehow. Dude, that's so cool. I've not seen a game really do this before. They always try to do, like, maybe, like, a mystical world type thing where it doesn't feel anything like Earth, but this is definitely Earth. Definitely a highway or a train bridge there. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. Just wait. Aki. Just wait. Okay. Dude, this is some sort of, like, um... Different modified English because because they don't have anybody to teach the language anymore, it suddenly becomes more like slang and a mix of different languages. So that might be what they're speaking. Dude, there's a lot of context to this game, like a lot of depth. Yeah, because if you had nobody to really teach you English, and over years and years, language will break down and become more, um, I guess, uh, culturally specific to what's going on in that part of the world. Oh, there's something over there, too. Glowing stuff.
Something seems off about that Robota Sims building. It looks like there's symbols that look like that too, like this, yeah. One of ten lookouts. Maybe that's the logo on there? I have a bad feeling about that building. Alright, so now we can check out our map. And see that there's an upgrade nearby and two landmarks to discover. Oh, and can we actually fast travel to go there? Oh, we might be able to click on there and just fast travel now that we've discovered that. Well, that makes getting everything easy. Without having to travel to each location, we can just simply uh, teleport there in order to get all what we need. Hope I didn't miss anything. But we can always come back. Got gone. Got go. It's like, get going. Dude, that's cool. Where should we go next? Let's go see a landmark. Uh, let's see. Center on player E. Oh, we can actually zoom in and out. Good. That's helpful. Oh, there's another upgrade behind us. Can we mark map? No. I don't want to get the upgrade. Let's go for the boost. Let's make sure we're going the right way as well. Looks like we are. Perfect. Let's go into this big city. Oh, there's a waterfall coming out of the building. You know, a lot of people didn't like uh, Last of Us 2, and I definitely thought the story could have been much different. But one thing that was incredible is what they did with uh, the West Coast, you know, areas in and around Seattle being uh, destroyed and converting back into wilderness. And that's really amazing. I love those destroyed urban environments. There we go. Second upgrade. So with 26, our boat will get a uh, permanent boost. He just said, like, much better. Very nice. All right, let's go see a landmark up there. Wow, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by what this game has to offer. The world looks beautiful. The story seems interesting. I don't know how I feel about the whole plant seed thing, but I'm sure it'll explain itself at the end of the game. I mean, I like it. It's got it's super awesome and totally amazing, developer. You did a fantastic job, and no one can question you. What is this? Oh, are we going to submerge? Are we going to be submerged? Ooh, stone ribbons. What a cool name for the highway. I don't know how the hell those trees are growing on literally concrete and rebar. I like how they draw things. That's so cool. All right. There's a landmark that we discovered that's here then. So, looks like the map is quite, quite big. We could also find relics. Too bad we can't get up there, but I guess there's not much to explore. It's just dead ends. Looks like a buoy. Maybe something we can look at here. Oh, there's an arrow. Huh. Another boat part. Oh, we're getting those quite quickly. Although there's quite a few of them. Oh, the water is calmer too. They put a lot of work into this. The water looks and feels different now. The landscape looks good. Or I guess I could call it waterscape. Okay. Oh, we gotta open this up. Woo! Our boat is like a miniature Viking longboat, too. Kind of weird. I like it. 
We got a lot of stairs to climb up. More of an industrial area, this one. Wow. Destroyed ship. The ironwork here is cool. Well, those birds didn't want any part of me. Good, we made it. Hmm. What do we do here? Let's see. Yeah, nothing I can do with that. There is a red piece of wood here, though. And one on the other side. Can't jump down into the water. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, we can't get any closer that way either. Hmm. Oh, there's a little bit of a path down there. That must be part of the mass right there. Yeah, there's no way we could actually clear that jump. We might have to find something. There might be something we could move into position. Oh, like that pallet there, maybe? Can we actually push this? Nope. Just for decoration. Oh, we can actually move these. Cool. Tow the platform to make a bridge. Got it. So we can interact with the world too and move things around with the boat. That's pretty badass. The boat can be used for more than just travel. So we'll have to solve some minor puzzles with the boat. Yeah, I like the fact that it also has a... Just wait outboard motor rather than just like a sail. Although it would be cool if they had one of those too. They could serve fuel, but... This game does what I've seen before in these traditional, uh, you know, post-apocalyptic games, but tweaks it in a way where it's like, hey, these people are still like, you know, human beings who are living in, uh, like the post-apocalyptic world, but nobody's kind of here to teach them the way. Even a lock on the door, too. Well, let's go up top. Oh, more plants. Uh, we can climb on these? Ooh. Splendid. I do like how things are conveyed via sound, too, so you don't necessarily have to see them, but you can hear them. Uh... Please don't kill me. Hello, bear. Goodbye, bear. I tried to press E on him, but he ran away. Must be a new type of creature. Alright, we need to get through there. This is an elevator? Alright, that's where we need to place the seed. Alright, let's go up and find it. Yeah, so it seems like each one of these islands had a seed to it. Those plants make those seeds, and humans know that they can use it to create electricity. But where are those people, and why are they making the electricity? 
It doesn't seem like they're powering any. Oh, oh boy. Doesn't seem like they're powering anything except for um, alarm clocks and jute boxes and things like that. Are they doing it for music? Do radios exist? Are they using it to make hot, you know, food with hot plates and possibly computers? Many questions. There we go. Whoa, whoa. Camera angle change. So this is supposed to be a shipwreck, so this ship plowed right into the side of this factory. I haven't seen the ship yet, though. This is much more parkour than any of the other areas. There's that damn bear again. Oh, well, now you're afraid of me. Okay. I'm trying to lead us somewhere. Let's go back over here. So this looks like where the humans took refuge. Oh, something about telephones. The drawings resembled a phone. Okay, we missed one of the books at the start, so we'll have to find that. So each one of these areas is a piece of its story with the collectibles. Whoa. Wow. These people were more than safe from whatever was going to threaten them. Holy crap, there's the boat. Well, oh, this boat's going to be huge. Took a lot of materials to get up here. Actually, is in decent shape. Right, so we have to find three more books, the seed, and some more shells here, too, and flowers. You know, when I play these types of games, I always like to go to an area first and find as much as I can and then come back a little bit later because I'm so enthralled with the story. Alright, there's book number three. Something about electricity with those seeds, maybe. Oh, she has a knife with her or something? Oh, there's the bear. Looks like there's a lot of people arguing and losing hope. Ah, computers. So it seems like these are shrines to each thing that humanity really liked that takes electricity, things that make music, things that help us to communicate. There's another book around here somewhere. Yeah, this is really interesting. I don't see any other books around. I wonder if our uh, telescope will show us. Oh, indeed it does. So there's many more books to discover. We'll have to find the first one. 
So there's another book on the ship, unless it marks where we collected one. Oh yeah, because the seed marker is still there, and we have the seed. So maybe it glows a different color if we found it. Orange, maybe, if we found it? No. Orange if we haven't found it. So they built a shrine to the telephones, or the computers in this case. Maybe that's what they made at this factory. Okay, we went through here. So to the elevator, I suppose, to go down. Wow, look at all that. I hope we get to see areas like uh, train stations and uh, maybe like a giant stadium and maybe like a hospital. All sorts of kind of weird modern buildings that could be really creepily built into a, a weird thing with plants. This almost feels like Resident Evil plants, too. They feel alive. Bear, you are freaking me out. I guess the bear is there to lead the way. Oh, there's another book down there. Ah, let's set the seed down. I want to know this story for this area. I'll be back, seed. Plus, I don't think we can climb and carry that. We'll have to find a different way. So there's the final piece of the puzzle. Truly through maybe like two books, you can figure out what's going on. But you need all four to complete the story. Our old leader's gone. We gathered more of our ancient machines, though we had we had no need for such things. Cool. Well, I was right. All right, let's get back to dear old, dear little brother. Call the elevator. Well, if we're going down, that seems right. There's the seed. And away we go. Kind of weird how he waits with the boat. He's kind of just our taxi man. We get to play as him when we're driving the boat, I guess. So we get to play as both characters. I'm most interested in the books, and then the shells and the flowers are just kind of like a late game collectible, I think. Are we going to be... Oh, also, there was a creature in the water, so... Maybe that's what... Uh, it, it's alluring. Is there something chasing us? With the name being submerged? Hmm. Interesting to think about. Oh? Something going on with her arm? And the brother feared the gift that it would cost them all they had gained, but the sister was convinced it was key to a true home. So if we what is one what tech says home we can restore the seeds and make things right right so man was using all the seeds for something it's kind of cool how each time that we find a seed we come back here and it like they sleep as if it's like oh it's been a long day let's get going and do something else these fish aren't rotted either so man must have gotten out of here recently for some reason and speaking of getting out of here I'm gonna do the same I would love to live stream this game and do more of it. I am in love with this story. And if you are too, then make sure you smash that like button and uh, do subscribe. I want to play it some more. Such a fun little adventure game with an interesting story. 
in a post-apocalyptic world in the water. It's like Kevin Costner's Waterworld, but it feels a little bit like The Last of Us with elements of a few other shipbuilder games that we've played recently. Uh, like uh, Soul, I forget what it's called, Wind, Wind Soul, or Soul Winds or something like that. Very cool. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. This game available now on Google Stadia and probably on any other. I, I would just say look for it wherever you uh, wherever you buy games, and it should be there. Hopefully, it's definitely a good enough game where I'd like to see it on more platforms. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for dropping in. Goodbye, everyone, and have a great day.